headlines is big parties block small parties from political funding um, and uh, well mediation of this is another interesting story that apparently the big parties are blocking them from political funding and as a result stifling their ability mm -hmm. to see light of day well I, I, I think the the members of the National Assembly were very lenient on these uh, small political parties and uh, I would suggest that we need to start them further so that we end up with uh, maybe three, four, five solid parties. Wouldn't that be dealing a blow to democracy? Isn't anybody allowed to? But you see the situation which is upsetting in Kenya today, if you've got a little money, you go start your own political party, not because you're championing democracy or you want to promote a you know, legislation agenda in Kenya. It's, mm -hmm. You're using it as a special purpose vehicle. You remember Honorable Kalem Bendile with his uh, tip tip. So some of these political parties are just being used as a special purpose vehicle. My, my view would be that uh, we need probably four strong political parties which are not centered on personalities like the situation obtaining today, mm -hmm. which allow people to go in and you know you have a vigorous debate and approach opposition. Because by having so many political parties, we're just creating opportunities for entrepreneurs. Okay. Well, that, I guess, is subject to debate and discussion. And uh, finally, we need more women in leadership, says Kenyatta. That's on page 13 of the Star. That, again, was uh, according to the statement that was read on his behalf as the, as the, as the opening of the, C, of the Council of Governors conference that's taking place in Meru. You know, when I saw that, I thought it was a contradiction because uh, the president has not done that in his uh, cabinet where he's got immediate powers to do that and he expects the governors to appoint more females. Well, he cabinet. says that uh, the Jubilee government had to nominate 572 women MCAs because few women candidates ran for elective positions in 2013. So again, I guess he's saying that they should stand up to be counted. Yeah, actually, you know, that was not a Jubilee government a favor. That's part of the constitutional requirement. Mm -hmm. But again, um, there are some ladies who are, who are interested in politics, but they become lazy. Instead of them going out in the battlefield to fight with men like uh, Martha Karua, so they sit, they go to the salon and wait to be nominated. I think leadership, you must go out and fight. And uh, we have many examples, uh, Grace Agot, Phoebe Asio, Martha Karua, people who go out and uh, foot and uh,